look at some of the decks we've got here. Let's take a look at uh, Jun's deck. So he's playing Crane. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the normal things that you would expect. Um, so guys, we've been running around a lot this morning, so still still a little out of breath, still a little distracted, uh, but hopefully we'll get we'll get the swing of things before uh, before too long here. So playing uh, the fertile fields in the manicured garden for his economy, trench possession. Yeah, I mean I don't think there are a lot of surprisers looking at this list. Uh, you know, fate worth some death. It's pretty common for anyone splashing. Uh, Scorpion these days calling in favors. Yeah, pretty normal things that you would expect. And uh, on the opposing side, uh, with Tyler's uh, unicorn deck. So he also is a uh, splashing scorpion. Uh, also, fate worse than death calling in favors. Also threw in a meek informant in a forged edict. Nothing, uh, nothing too surprising after that. But anyways, action's already started, so I'm going to try to get into the game here. So yeah, we have Yun who's brought in his Brash Samurai without any fate on it. Uh, Edie Trader from Tyler with two fate. Uh, Doji Whisper coming in with a single fate. Border Rider, so it looks like they're kind of trying to build a field. Um, and Jun passes and takes the fate. And it looks like they're going to dials here. It looks like Jun's uh, sporting a classic uh, conquest dial uh, used for picking your battlefield. So Tyler builds five, Jun builds four, so that is going to be uh, an additional fate. Or additional honor for oops. Yeah. Uh, and Victor's joining us now. Hooray. So we've already taken a quick look through the <laughs> decks and trying to keep up with the yeah. the match action here. Not for long maybe, I don't know. I I might have to get called away for some Armada stuff. All right. So, so I, looking through Jun, Jun's deck, it's actually really similar to what Ronnie's playing. Okay. It's a Scorpion Splash with a lot of the same cards that uh, my co-commentator from yesterday, Sungho, were talking about. One of the cards that you, uh, I think, was lambasted on the Crane side when the game first came out was Cautious Scout. Right. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, we saw yesterday Ronnie put it to really good use. It's a, basically a, a Pathfinder blade on a stick. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, and, and it's great not to have to go to Crab to get that uh, ability. Right. Um, so, military conflict with Brash Samurai. We're going to see what the province is in a second. So, Void Conflict. He's putting in the Brash Samurai. Tyler's trying to decide uh, if he's going to commit any defenders. Voider. Oh. He's going to flip the province first. Yeah, yeah remember to do that. Pilgrimage. Yeah. Wow, who would have thought in a unicorn deck playing Pilgrimage? So, uh, obviously, it's a tie. Jin would be winning here. Yep. So, I'll Tyler passes. Fresh Samurai chooses to honor himself using his ability. Now, I believe Tyler we saw also in the uh, yesterday. I think he was also playing against the Crane deck, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we'll see what what kind of what kind of lessons are learned uh, between yesterday and today. So going for the bonsai here, yeah. dropping down to 11 honor. So yeah, he wants this break if he can get it. 
Yeah. And then Tyler Bonsai is back. This is a really important province, especially for a deck that relies on Talisman of the Sun yeah. for its defensive power, because it's such a such a good province in that you know as long as they don't right. break it, doesn't yeah. really matter. It looks like so. it looks like Jen's going to cancel that with a uh, Voice of Honor. So, um, yeah, uh, if he's staying at two. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go make sure he takes his honor back because if he canceled it before the bump, the bump for sure. Uh, that Tyler takes his honor back. Right? Yeah. So if he okay. broke the province, then he would have. Okay. To oh, sorry. No, you're good, man. You're good. Yeah. Sorry. So unfortunately, broken uh, pilgrimage means that. Tyler is going to have to uh, rely on some more conventional defense tactics when it comes to his talisman play. So readying the border rider, uh, hoping for a crack back now. The question is which, uh, which province is going to go after. And I think it um, might, might be fortuitous to perhaps go for Void, get rid of the fate. Just confirm this clear. Okay, sorry. Still deciding on what Tyler's uh, first conflict for the turn. So it looks like he's going to poke in with an Eda Trader. Most likely going to be probably a political conflict. No. Swaps out. Goes for Border Rider. Perhaps the military. Makes sense because the only defender is the Doji Whisperer. Yeah. So shameful oh, display. Shameful display. Him. So it's actually fortunate for for Jun because now he can actually uh, yeah. throw the Doji Whisper in. Now it's it's still going to be a tie if he ends up using the shameful display. So Tyler still wins, and he wasn't going to break anyway. So uh, it's possible Jun just lets this happen. Well, I mean, there's a good chance that Tyler has something in his hand that's going to let him break here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but he does. Uh, he does. Getting a free board honor board. effect is, is hard to pass out. Always a good plan for Crane. You wanna you wanna keep that threat of the voice of honor up at all times. I also see a policy debate in John's hand, so this is actually a really good time to use it. Right. He's got a couple four shames as well, so uh, he's gonna be able to make sure that mm -hmm. uh, Tyler can't win without maybe charging in uh, Juro. Okay, so triggering the. Uh, triggering the province ability. But Tyler would still be winning here, but uh, I'm sure they have a few more things to, to do. It, it looks like Jun has that four shame queued up at the top of his hand now, so I think that he's uh, thinking that might be a good option. Yeah, cracking the Imperial Storehouse, get some more options. Did he just, get his, did he just draw his third four shame? Yeah, looks like it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty big tool for the crane deck. Yeah. A pretty good, big tool for most decks, really. So, that's gonna give him a good edge at uh, the beginning of this game. So that was a pretty good turn. This was the first turn, was it? This is the first turn. Yeah. yeah. So that was a successful defend. Yeah. Uh, so claiming the Earth Ring. Yeah, really profitable first turn for John. Gets that early province break. Perhaps the most important province on the Unicorn side while at the same time defending, I think, one of the most important Crane provinces. Now, on the other hand, I mean, depending on what, if uh, Jin has any characters he can bring in play, theoretically we could see any trader be able to crack the Shameful Display, which is always a, yeah. a nice thing to be able to do without It'll, having to suffer the effects too many times. It looks like that's what he's doing. So three political strength. No defense so far on Jun's side. However, okay. four fate. Uh, Crane does play political rival. It's possible he can muster a defense if he wants. Uh, 
Uh, don't see any characters in his hand, though. Yeah, I'm a bit... I'm a, why do you, why are you thinking water here? Just deny, um, so deny it, a favor, maybe? Yeah, or he wants to get he wants to get the Imperial favor for himself because he gets one ring. So first he's going to court games. Yeah, yeah. he'll just be tied because he has claim two. John has two, so this will oh, yes, right. tie yeah. it up. You're I'd right. be tempted to honor the ED traitor, potentially denying a voice of honor. Oh, it looks like we're seeing a court game right. to prevent the break. Now, uh, I mean, this is first thing's t turn, so it's there are no... Uh, Keeper initiates in uh, Tyler's discard. There are not. Are there? Okay. I mean, that would make more sense if he was going for a water thing. So that was a counter court games there on Tyler's side? It looks like it, yes. Yeah. Losing or lose? Yep. Yeah, losing the one honor for undefended. And uh, without anything, I think that was also the second conflict. So it looks like we're going to be going to the fate phase soon. So turn passes over. Uh, Tyler with uh, Eda Trader. Jun Yu getting an honor for that Brass Samurai leaving play. And still having that Doji Whisper, which is now honored. Threatening, can threaten province to break by herself on a political conflict. So despite despite the uh, disparity in broken provinces, it looks like there's actually board parity on both sides as far as political conflicts go. Initiative passes over to Tyler. So he did deny the favor? Uh, he did, yes. But... <laughs> I mean, with board presence being at parity, however, Jun has a lot of money to work with this turn. And so, uh, the flop includes uh, Doji Shizue. I want to talk about Doji Shizue. I've, the interesting between Ronnie and Jun's deck, there's actually only one copy of her. And really? it's, it's because uh, both these crane decks are aggressively seeking the Imperial favor. Yeah. So if everything's going right for that deck, then there's no need to have additional copies of Shizue. Mm -hmm. You never need to put more fate on her either. Right. So, and, and definitely later in the game, she becomes kind of underwhelming for her her stats. So Kakita, uh, Kakita Asami. Oh no, sorry, yep. Asami. Kakita Asami. Gets uh, played. And then uh, Tyler played in uh, Jiro with a fate. So Moto Juro and Ida Trader, actually a very good combination, of course, uh, with uh, Moto Juro's moving in, moving out ability. Slapping a Spy Gas on that can also uh, increase the card advantage engine. Yeah. Uh, but as I mentioned before, this deck is very similar to what uh, Ronnie's playing. And the reason I bring that up is actually, I think I see a calling in favors in Jun's hand, so that's something that I think she's, he's going to be holding on to until yeah. Tyler plays out either a Talisman or a, a Spyglass. Now Tyler doesn't have his own calling in favor, so potentially we could see uh, some stealing back and forth. So here comes the savvy politician. And I think it's in Tyler's best interest to pass. Although, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think he did pass already. Okay. So she only played one character, so and he went first. Yeah. So Jun, using the, uh, the money he saved up from the previous turn, is uh, building a bunch of board presence to carry on into the, into the next turn. And he should... They both did five already. Both five. Wow, I just, he's That's using a card. I know, we <laughs> mentioned that earlier. <laughs> A little uh, harder to read, but yeah. still nice to see the old throwback. I've been thinking about that, too. I mean, there's some people with really sweet uh, acrylic conquest styles. Yeah, the the dials are a little big, so having right. something that fits a little bit more nice, nicely into uh, yeah. with the rest of my tokens would be great. So Ichi Wayfinder uh, poking at a province. I didn't get a look at that province you revealed, though. I don't know if you I didn't. No, I didn't see it, unfortunately. So Way of the Crane most likely going on to the Savvy Politician to get that, uh, 
effect. Double, double water effect. Yep. Yeah. Bad board is that's gonna hurt. And uh, you know, Jun can also lock it in with uh, it's the one uh, young Harrier. I think is the name of the card. Yes, young Harrier. Yeah. So, uh, Young Harrier it works a little bit differently from Stur Sorry, this is a, a high traffic area, so we got a lot of people coming up asking us questions. But uh, anyway, to finish my thought, Young Harrier, unlike Steward of Law, um, Steward of Law doesn't actually prevent honored characters from losing their honor status, but uh, Young Harrier, if you use the ability on that card, it can actually prevent them from losing the honor token. So, uh, Tyler going in with a military fire conflict on Manicured Garden. With a strength of six. And with so many honored characters on Junyu's side, I mean, really, any of, any of his political uh, characters can can put up a really good fight in a, in a military conflict. And of course, that uh, political, sorry, the policy debate is still in uh, Jun's hand. And that's going to uh, allow him a look at Tyler's hand, maybe formulate the, the plan for the rest of this conflict as well as the entire conflict phase based on what Tyler has in his hand. And then there's also those, four, those copies of Four Shame that uh, Jun has. So, uh, committing with the Doji Whisperer, defending, starting with that policy debate, uh, going against each Wayfinder, that's going to be a four to one uh, duel. <laughs> Bids looks like one to three, just wants to uh, ensure that he gets the, the policy debate off. See a bunch of attachments in uh, in his hand. So Jun bringing the uh, talisman of the sun to the forefront. Calling in favors looks interesting too. Again, this is uh, as we were talking about yesterday. Tyler's uh, unicorn deck. It's uh, it is a variation of the the unicorn deck that was popular about a month or two ago. That combined crane courtiers with unicorn military. Uh, and uh, Mia Satoshi. This one swaps out the the crane package for Scorpion. Of course, you have really good control cards like Calling in Favors and uh, Fate Worse Than Death. And so he's going to go and take that Calling in Favors because uh, Jun does have a Calling of, in Favors of his own. He wants to make sure if he steals the Talisman of the Sun that he's able to uh, retain control of it. So speaking of Fate Worse Than Death, that's what gets played on, I think, Moto Juro, yep. Very good ability because that's going to turn off his text box and make sure he can't come into any future conflicts. And that's going to reduce Tyler's offensive power to one, I believe. So still with, Tyler is still technically winning, I guess. And it looks like he is indeed going to uh, win the, the fire ring. And uh, Tenorim does mention that Juro should be dishonored. Uh, we're going to get on that and fix that. Thank you for pointing that out. But uh, yeah, for the time being, fire ring honors in trip. Uh, 
Sorry guys, we had uh, tournament things pull both of us away at the same time. Hopefully things will calm down a little bit as we get further in the day and we can get some other people also to come out and help commentate. We're just trying to actually get some extra prizes for the winner. Uh, we don't have, we don't have a, there's no national event, so we weren't able to get a kit right. for this. And we're just able to get some, uh, some of the, the, the uh, clan mats uh, to give out to the top four as well. So that'll be nice. So it was a public forum that got revealed on a void political uh, conflict that saw Kakita Asami get um, committed to it. So with her superior uh, political skills, she's going to be able to steal an honor from Tyler. Even if he does decide to commit the Eda Traitor. Of course, Tyler does have a copy of, two copies of Talisman of the Sun. But we also know that Jun has, uh, still has that calling and favors in his hand. So, with the Talisman of the Sun in Jun's control, that doesn't count as uniqueness for Tyler playing a second copy, right? It does. This is actually a, a, something that came up during one of the Battle for the Stronghold kits okay. uh, that we had earlier this week. So it's not, it's not whether it's a card that you control that has the same title, it's a con con card you own and play? So the, the, the wording is you cannot play an additional copy of a, a unique card if an opponent, sorry, owned by a player. Okay, so it's owned right? instead of yeah. controlled. So. Yeah, so because the, the Tyler, the, the, cop, the copy of Talisman and Son that presumably Jun would steal is yeah. owned by Tyler still, so Tyler could not play another copy onto his character. So that's even more yeah. brutal. Yep. And I, I think that actually was something we discussed yesterday okay. uh, during a similar situation. So using the favored mount to send in the Eda Trader, and of course using that ability, he's going to be able to uh, proc the uh, Eda Trader's ability to take either one fate or one honor. So it looks like uh, Jun procced uh, Kakia Zami's ability to steal. And with a bow, with the admit defeat getting played on the Eda Trader, uh, it's just that Jun, Jun has so many control pieces in this uh, in this deck that it's really hard unless unless Tyler can really get his economy engine going with this, things like Eda Trader, Spyglass, and uh, and Shinjo Scout. Unless all those cylinders are firing at the same time, it becomes actually really hard for. Uh, a unicorn deck to kind of establish a foothold in that case. So he's going to play, Tyler's going to play a court games targeting most likely Kikita Asami. And we'll see if that actually resolves. And so the text, text on court games reads, uh, you, the opponent, if you choose a character on the opponent's side to dishonor him, and they, they have to choose one of theirs. Now, it's not that relevant now, since the only character that Jun has on his side that's participating is Asami, but there are situations where you have multiple characters that are honored that you may want to target with a, a single player with court games, or a single character with court games, but again, it's the opponent's choice. So that's going to drop his strength down to three, which means that he's still breaking uh, the public for, well, Quote, yeah. breaking. You gotta get the honor of the strength on Things are getting a lot loud now because it's the end of one of the yeah. uh, first round, I think, for X-Wing. So we're going to try to keep up with the pace of the uh, the, the volume level. <laughs> yeah. This is actually a lot better than yesterday where we had to keep our voices down so that the, uh, the players at the table couldn't hear us. Just uh, let us know if uh, we're not coming through loud enough or if yep. we're talking too loud. We'll, we'll try to adjust as we go. I, I tried to listen to Twitch for a little bit just to make sure it was coming through okay. Okay. And yeah. So that public forum does get the honor token on it. And uses the void to take the fate off of the E-Day Trader. Right. So that means that uh, Tyler's board is getting cleared this turn. 
unless he can do something about that. I don't think he can. No, I don't think he can either. So, I mean, Tyler did finish a little further down the rankings on day one. He was the top uh, unicorn player. Um, so, I, I may, I'm not sure how much tournament experience he has under his belt, but... Um, he's, I, I, I we, all, we, we also know that uh, Unicorn is a bit of an uphill battle, even for the best players. That being said, Unicorn is actually really popular in Toronto. It's a lot of, a lot it's of, a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And, I mean, Toronto likes trying to make the underdog work. So we have a lot of people trying to find a, you know, a version of Unicorn that's going to be effective. For, for those people that are familiar with the, the, the psychographics of Magic players, Unicorn definitely feels like a Johnny deck in that when all the pieces come together, and like I was saying, the ec ec economy engine is firing in all cylinders, then it's, uh, it, it's really enjoyable to play, but yeah, yeah. It, it gets easily disrupted. So Military Earth Conflict, uh, he's got... Uh, Three. Four. Four. Yeah. So yes. Savvy Politician is one. Uh, Three strength? Three strength. Yeah. Yep. So that's just enough to break the. Uh, yeah. Break the so province. he's going to use use his province to bring in uh, the the uh, bowed Ichi Wayfinder just so he's not losing the honor for undefended. Now, so I think that's something that actually I think Tyler missed because favored mount gives uh, cavalry to to Eda Trader. Yes. So he could have used the stronghold to move Eda Trader in and get a dollar or a card off it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and uh, Tenorim in the chat actually brings up the exact same point, so thank you for pointing that out as well. We both saw that at the same time. All right, so that's two provinces uh, down on Tyler's side. Uh, kind of three with a double break on uh, Public Forum. For sure, yeah, and I think this time uh, there's no way Tyler can stop uh, Jun from getting the, the Imperial favor. No. So remember, Shizue. As long as you have the Imperial favor, you get to keep her around as long as you, as long as you want. So gaining one honor, losing one honor, with the removal of those two unicorn characters. Yeah. And John is deciding which side he wants to. Yeah, John deciding what side he wants to put the Imperial favor on. Okay, goes for the. Oh no. A little bit of indecision there. <laughs> okay, so meanwhile, a bunch of other people go. He's just pointing out that the Shizue actually triggers. I believe he just gained two honor there two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, so initiative passes over to John. And with only nine bucks to Tyler's name, he's going to discard the Shinjo Scout because I think it's a little too late to be playing uh, just a 2-1 that doesn't actually start making you any money until the turn after she enters play. But another Brass Samurai, there's the uh, the centerpiece of the crane deck on yes. Jun's side, Kakita Yoshi. With Now that he has the honor, I think he's it's very tempting to actually just play that out as your only card. And then just pass. Meanwhile, on Tyler's side, we see uh, the centerpiece of his deck, which is Mia Satoshi. But, I mean, I think it's too late for Satoshi. He doesn't have the pilgrimage. He doesn't have the public forum, so those are kind of the ways that you, you well, you don't want to, the pilgrimage you want to defend with your right. extra holdings. And so, just just as we suspected, we see the uh, Kikita Yoshi coming out on uh, John's side. Very powerful character, anyone who's, uh, who was watching yesterday during Ronnie's uh, time on the camera knows how powerful this card is. Also, the number one crane target for Cloud the Mine. So Jun's already passed. Yeah. 
Sorry. Play with the Moto Youth. Yeah. Moto Youth, Satoshi, and Otaku Infantry. Go to dials here. Looks like Jen's considering yeah. a five bed. Yeah, no, no I mean, reason not to. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's he's got a lot of honor. He's not gonna he's not gonna dishonor his opponent. And uh, that between that and Yoshi's ability. Now, one thing to note is that there's no longer any Ooh. honored characters looks on like he went to, uh, Looks like he went to switch to a one just at the last minute there. Oh. Uh, maybe he wants to put. Uh, no, now he reconsiders. All right, we went with one. Yeah. So four and one. I, I was going to mention that um, because because he has Kikita Yoshi now, he can start applying uh, honor pressure honor, as well. Pr honor pressure, not ne necessarily to dishonor Tyler's uh, Tyler out, but just to force him to start bidding one as well because. Jun can draw at least four cards a turn between the honor bid and Kikita Yoshi's ability. Right. Plus, you know, any earth ring triggers or anything like that. So I don't think he's worried about uh, card flow. And meanwhile, with Tyler, you know, I haven't seen any spy glasses yet or anything like that. So okay. there's just been uh, both players have actually just asked for the judge to come over. So uh, Travis is going to go and see what's going on. But uh, Tyler with two provinces broken, six honor on the table, 27 minutes left on the clock. So uh, he's able to scrabble together a comeback. Like, it's possible for him to do it. So Tyler just drew one too many cards. He looked at it, he hadn't put it into his hand, so they knew which one. We just had him shuffle it back into his deck. Way of the Crane on Yoshi. That's gonna give it nine political Looks strength. like he's gonna trigger his uh, Satoshi trigger. So yeah. flipping some cards. So there's, yeah, Imperial Palace. He's going to just take a look to see what the best province to put it on is. He does flip over a Keeper Initiate. So that was actually, all things considered, pretty good, a pretty good flop, but... It's okay. I think he would have liked to see a few more things yes. in his discard for potential cavalry reserves and maybe even another Keeper Initiative to trigger. The problem is he doesn't have the money for cavalry reserves, and Jun is going first, so he's probably going to take just the two air, sorry, the two fate uh, air ring. Yes. So Jun's trying to figure out where where he's going to go, or probably more with who. Do you have any updates on the other tables so far? Uh, no. Uh, it looks like both matches are still underway. So right. we're playing half of the um, half of the rest of the top eight are playing right now uh, mm -hmm. because um, yeah. because they if they if the people who want eliminated they can go enjoy the rest of the convention. Right. Right. Uh, and then uh, the other two matches of the top eight will play uh, after this round. So here's a air conflict, like we suspected, on the, the Pure Palace province with uh, Meditations of the Tao. That gets revealed. And perhaps Jun may have suspected that that was going to be the province because he declined to uh, send uh, Satoshi, in, or sorry, Kikita Yoshi in to, uh, to attack as well. Of course, because uh, Kikita Yoshi is honored, that makes him no slouch in the military conflict department. <laughs> so this is a, uh, a meek informant that just got played out on uh, Tyler's side. It's going to bring his, uh, between Satoshi, sorry, yeah, Mia Satoshi and uh, meek informant is going to bring his defense up to five. 
So now that now that he knows what he's playing with, I mean, there's still the still doesn't really do anything to stop the force shame going up against Satoshi, which is going to be the play. Dishonoring Satoshi. Here's a force shame back. Um, it's possible that he could just bow uh, Kakita Asami because he's just checking to see, well, you know, well, what's the uh, strength at? You know, if he wasn't planning on winning this conflict anyway, if it got dishonored, then it's just better to maybe bow and let it happen. So he's just going to voice of honor that instead. And it, it may seem like he's, he's spewing cards this way, but he still has a chance of breaking, or sorry, at least winning the conflict <clears throat> by, uh, by using the, the stray, sorry, Shizuka Toshi on Satoshi, who now has two political strength, gets bowed now. Now that the uh, strength on Tyler's side is one. Going to use Meditation of the Tao to remove a fate. And uh, could be, uh, you know, not just taking the two fate, but also maybe threatening a dishonor victory here by stealing some more of that honor. <laughs> yeah, so in addition to the air ring, Kitasami's been turned on now that uh, Satoshi's been bowed. So he's going to steal one honor from him. So now Tyler is going to have to he's going to have to choose his next uh, next conflict carefully. Good news is shameful display is gone. Military water conflict with the Moda youth and the Otaku infantry. I do believe this is the first military conflict of the turn. So that's going to give the Moda youth uh, an extra strength. And the Otaku infantry, of course, has plus two because it counts itself and the Moda youth. So that's going to put him at five. Jun decides to defend with uh, Shizue with the uh, Imperial favor. It's going to put him at two. And that's going to be just one shy of breaking. So in order to push through this conflict, he's going to have to uh, maybe, if he has any, see if he has any buffs in his hand, a fine katana perhaps, or anything that isn't cavalry reserves because he can't afford it. So test of skill comes up. Test of skill. Uh, really cool card in Crane. I really like uh, how this sort of has enabled the uh, super event heavy style of Crane deck that both Judd and Ronnie are running today. And so what he does is he names, uh, looks like he names event, flips over the top three cards, and puts uh, two, two cards that match the type that he just named into his hand. So again, without, uh, without the province getting broken, perhaps it's uh, not necessary for Jun to push this. However, okay, well, assassination is going to change that math. Uh, that's actually going to reduce the strength by four because the uh, Otaku infantry buff gets uh, removed as well. But uh, one, one of the hallmarks of the crane deck is that you, by all means necessary you want to retain the imperial favor so even even if uh even if a conflict's not going to break the province you don't want them to take the ring because you want to make sure that you, between your your glory and your ring you're going to have enough to 
to retain the Imperial favor turn after turn. There's huge incentives on Jun's side for between the Kakita Yoshi and the Doji Shizue to make sure that he retains that. So Tells in the Sun gets played on the Taki uh, Infantry. And uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yes, uh, Tenor asked if he paid honor for that assassination. He did. He had 17 honor. Now he's down to 14. I just uh, forgot to uh, click the tracker down. So, uh, calling in favors, the card that we've been uh, teasing this entire game, it finally does get played on, on Jun's side. And that's going to let him actually move uh, a player to the Manicure Garden. So, gets one card, gets one fate, why not? But uh, that is going to dishonor Shizue. It's going to bring her down to one. But of course, the Talisman bumps it up to two. So. so we're still looking at Jun actually winning this conflict if, uh, if Tyler doesn't do anything else. Okay, so Ring goes to Tyler. Or sorry, Ring goes to Jun. Taku Infantry goes home. And now that opens the door for, for Jun to just... Uh, <laughs> So with between between him being honored and the two two strengths that may, that would make him four five strength. Right. So two plus three plus one. That's five. That's unfortunately one shy of breaking the province by himself. But it's it's fairly likely that he actually has something to uh, to push it over the top. Well, Kakita Yoshi is a. Uh, Kikidoshi is a 2-6, so 2 military, plus 3 glory. That puts it at 5. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I can't, I can't do math. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Okay. Yes. Uh, he will solo smash that province. No problem. And uh, we've, we've mentioned this before in the match, but... Now that uh, Jun is is in possession of the Talisman of the Sun, uh, Tyler can actually not play another copy of the Talisman of the Sun on his side. So, I'll be right back. So I just had to uh, just had to correct the board state. Uh, that sort of thing is not the kind of thing that's a mistrigger or anything like that. That isn't uh, just something that you have to fix because uh, if you if you have the imperial favor and you have enough strength, well, it gets broken. Whether or not it actually <laughs> people actually remember to do the math. Uh, this game, <laughs> this game especially when you've been playing it all weekend starts becoming a bit of a bit of a grind so so now we see I think this is starting next turn okay so going into the next turn flop is a uh, doji representative and we're gonna look to see what Tyler reveals and the initiative passes over to Tyler 15 minutes left on the clock. Three provinces broken. You have a uh, Kakita Yoshi with uh, Kakita Yoshi that's honored. Yeah, pretty rough. I I'm a little bit bummed that we're not gonna be able to see a unicorn player in the top eight. But uh, I'm actually glad that we got to see. Uh, I'm actually glad that we got to see a, a unicorn scorpion courtier deck on, on camera. 
Yeah, it looks like it's going to almost be over. Okay. We're, uh, we, we got three Someone needs to your help broken. for just a second. Okay. Because I can't make this ruling. Really. Of course. Uh, but I'm going to tag in again here quickly. Um, so we just we just have something that's uh, getting escalated through the judges uh, from, from actually from a different event, but uh, we're just trying to get to the head judge. I just wanted to give him back because Graham is not here to yeah, yeah, yeah. do what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Sorry. Um, ooh, sorry about that, guys. I've been missing a bunch of uh, honor tracking. <laughs> we're, we're having all sorts of stuff. The video feed went up on went out out on X Wing, so I had to go over and troubleshoot that. Uh, we have events that are requiring us to step in yeah, on rulings. Th this weekend has been a pretty ambitious one for BTTV. Uh, as you, we you got away with know. it yesterday. Yes. I, I mean, I mean it's, it's it's early in the day. This stuff will work itself out. Yeah, we're, well, we'll establish a rhythm, and then everything will be fine. Once we, if we get another commentator for L Five Hour, I think yeah. it's okay. It's just it's tough when uh, one of us isn't on both streams. Whew, that's down to one honor for Tyler. Wow. I mean, there's lot there's lots of things that uh, are problems for him right now. So I, that's just one of many. Well, now it's just an air ring. Doesn't even matter if you win or not. So uh, Tyler is probably just gonna have to murk the air ring just to prevent it from going to uh, going to Jun. Now, lucky for Tyler, Kikita Zami is no longer in uh, play, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's about exerting pressure on... Uh, I don't know it talks about being ahead in cars, might as well put in under pressure. You're right, completely. Uh, uh, absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's the safer play to... Like, he probably wins regardless with the, with the cards. But if he also has the honor, he just gives himself yeah. more options. Chenerim says that I don't think he's ahead on cards. Well, I mean, I don't think he needs with, to be. With Yoshi's ability, I'm going to say he is. <laughs> so this was a, this is a void political. Yes. With the, uh... Oh, man. It's the Manicure Gardens? Yeah. Is it? Is it? No, Fertile Field. No. For a second, I was like, that looks like shameful display, but I know that Sir Province is already yeah, the, It's a Fertile Field, the one beside it is Manicured Garden. Oh, you're right, sorry. Doji Rep. Yeah. Uh, Doji, no, sorry, Doji Sejue and the representative, a Talisman of the Sun. And, uh, yeah, with Void being played. Now, I will point out that I think the reason why Tyler's doing this is because uh, the uh, unicorn's role is the keeper of Void. So I can't remember how many keeper initiates he has in his hand uh, or in his discard. I know he had at least one that I saw yeah. earlier. I may have missed some more. I don't think it's a very effective play because now you're you're basically trading a very decent courtier for a 1-1 one, one body. Well, he, he needs to take... Oh, yeah, no, wait. How does he not... How does he... Yeah, not... Uh... I don't know. I think I just hold everything back and then hit back with air. Yeah. Right? I think so, too. So here's a force yeah, we're shame. We're not playing, so... Yeah. Force shame on Kiz Kizue? Shizue? Actually, it's better to do it on the, rep the representative, I think. Because now, even at this point, even if the representative I guess we should do their strength, leaves, eh? Yeah. So let's see. We've got... Uh, one, one against... Uh, four? No, one against three. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Who does he have a political favor or mili military, military favor? favor. So, yeah. no. With Satoshi bowed, I mean, obviously, it's, yep. it's pretty tough for him to. And uh, the to mediator, win. unfortunately, uh, because Tyler has the uh, imp sorry has the initiative or is the first player, is uh, nerfed. <laughs> Looks like he wants uh, to be greedy in terms of his economy. Bounces over to Fertile Fields, take a, takes a fade. 
he, yeah, know, he knows he's not at risk yeah. really of losing this. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Uh, oh, favor. So it was two against three. Okay. No, no, it's just because the character I forgot. Yeah, I have all these cards in front of me, so I might as well actually take a look at them. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Does this head back anyway, with the political John's air here? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. At the stronghold. Whoa. Yeah. There you go. Military. Okay, right. Why not? Oh, because you want to discard the favor. Well, yeah, whatever. Just going to send it in. This is a military conflict. Uh, is he sending them both or is he just sending the challenger? I don't know. But anyway, Rally to the Cause got named. Sorry, yeah. that got uh, revealed. Uh, no, not Rally to the Cause. It's uh, right in the streets. I think it may have been military. He may yeah. have... Uh, oh, no, because he knew that he... Did he know? He thought... Maybe he thought it would be ancestral land, so he didn't want to go political. Uh, I see. That's the thing I can think of, perhaps. Uh, I don't think... Oh, no, no. Public, public forums are a threat, so we know we didn't have... Well, yeah, yeah. So we knew we didn't have uh, ancestral land. So mind. charge with Shinjo Scout. So wow. that's going to put... Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. see. That's uh, three per Utaku infantry, yeah. plus two for the scout, yeah. so that's going to make it eight. Yeah. And uh, I imagine we'll see... Uh, Oh, probably one more character come in. So policy debate. It looks like Yoshi's actually in the conflict. Yeah, he's in the conflict. Yeah. I, I think he wants, wants to finish it off here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's actually Jun is actually winning right now. I'm gonna assume it's in the thing, right? Yeah. Yes. Discard is a fate worth the death. Makes a lot of sense given he has four yeah. uh, fate left. <laughs> now he can uh, we can bring in uh, one character with uh, favorable ground giving another two strength uh, from the attack of infantry true yeah if you move in the uh, so, mediator the attack of mediator in uh, I see a charge in uh, Jun's hand though oh what did he do to uh... sorry why is he exhausting I'm not sure. So, why, Yoshi's bowed now, so it goes down into fourth strain. Uh, why bow Yoshi? Sorry, am I missing something? Hmm. Do we do we miss a card play somewhere? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I don't see anything. So he's using Yoshi's ability now. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. It's the right oh, in the streets. I think you said rally to the cause. Sorry. It's three, three bushi. So we don't we don't see right in the streets <laughs> much. So, um, someone also mentioned uh, going military was ballsy, but you, like you said, there was a charge in Jun's hand. Yes. So he was probably he probably did it because he that way he had charge available as a trick. Anyway, I'm just gonna bring out yeah. So, but he does discard the favor, so that's going to put him at actually three right now, three military strength, because he lost the favor to draw the cards. Yeah. But a charge gets played, and that's another, Daidoji Narishima that gets another played. three strength. Yeah. So I'm just going to let the players know they only have five minutes left in the round. <laughs> Stuart Law coming down. Uh, I can't, I don't remember if he has another first shame, but yeah, it does look like he has a first shame in his hand, so Stuart Law is a great play here. Eat a messenger on Tyler's side, getting played down. So that's actually going to buff. Uh, that's going to buff the entire team another three. So the the Utaku infantry is actually doing a lot of solid work here, but that for shame uh, on the Utaku infantry, it's going to bow it because 
of course, since the uh, since the Stewart Law is in play, you can't dishonor it, so you got to bow it. So that's going to bring it down to four, I believe, to seven. And that's going to put. Yeah. Sorry, Victor. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so uh, I believe it's seven now on John's side with the uh, addition of the Steward of Law. Brings in the uh, mediator with the Ida messenger, right, but that's, that's not good. enough. So, yeah. He'll win, be... he'll win this, steal the last uh, honor, 